It's crazy. Ooh, confession time. I never washed my hands before this started. Cool. Man. Does that surprise anybody, honestly? No, you are a disgusting human being. Look, and when I pee, when I pee, pee you, we are, all, we are all, every single one is guilty of doing that at least once. Don't play yourselves, America. When I pee, though, dude, when oh, I pee, hey. I trust my being cleaner than anything else you guys are touching, so I don't mind leaving the stall without washing my hands. Huh. Oh, no, no, a man washes his hands before or after tending to his needs. It tells you a lot about a man. He does it both times, points to a weakness in character. Ladies. We are coming to you from our houses for our home edition of Off the Cut. Unfortunately, we can't be at Dapa Shop, but as they say, the show must go on. So we are here. Right. We are I'm here. excited. All that good stuff. You guys amongst this, all this chaos, you know what I mean? You yeah. too, man. It is time to do that thing that we do. What's it called, Matt? Mad Dad Bad. Is it rad? Is it cool? Is it something you would wear? Is it dad? Not so good. Is it a fad? Is it something we'll look back on in a couple of years and just laugh? Let's discuss. Let's do it. All right. First up, Dapo, start with you. The Safari SB. Um, okay, so guys don't get on to me, but I'm not a big fan of uh, the SB, but I like the print on it and the colorway is pretty dope. Uh, and it's a uh, cheetah print, right? It's like safari print, so yeah. Yeah, safari yep. kind of animal. Yeah. So, no, totally rad. Wait, but you just made fun of me last week because of the the, the, the tongue being too thin on my ducks. Oh, you like the fat tongues. The, right. But, no, dude, they did, I think Nike did a great job with the safari. All right, rad, Matt. Absolutely rad. I love everything about it. I like the little little swoosh on the toe. I love print, everything, man. They killed it, love it. Yeah. I mean, you guys know how I feel about animal print, anything. NSBs are my shit, so me. It's rad, rad as well, for sure. Yeah, that's right. What do we got next, Matt? We got the Blorf 380. Blorf. I don't, where is Kanye coming up with these names? It's driving me insane. Blorf? Uh -huh. That feels like, I mean, I went out with my homies, I had way too many Bud Lights, and all of a sudden I'm like, Blorf! Yeah, it's weird. And that's what it kind of looks like. You know it's, what it reminds me of? A geode. Kinda, it's just, what I think is cool about it is it explores something different on the fabric of a 380 that we haven't seen yet, yeah. where they're using like bright colors to contrast a darker uh, mesh piece. Yeah. You know, the, the, the stripe, I guess, the, the transparent piece, which is cool. I mean, elementally, you could get some cool design and, you know, stuff from it it's just it's neat i guess but not for me i think that the soul kind of, I, I, I love the upper i like the blue i don't like the soul how it's like a weird olive color kind of a weird greenish if it were something else i think i would actually like this shoe so what are you saying what is it i think it's kind of rad <laughs> Daph, what do you think i'm thinking it's a fad you think it's a fad for sure yeah. That's quick. You didn't even have to explain. <laughs> nah, you know, you know, I mean, it's, it's look. You know what's interesting? I want to know when I said it looks like a geode. How many people thought I was talking about the other seven hundred? No, you're talking about those rocks that you buy at like uh, like road right. stops, and stuff, you know, like travel stops. They look like a big turd, but when you break them open, there's like little crystals inside. It does look like that. That's, I mean, that's what it looks like. They should have called that the geode and the black one the the puke or blorf or whatever they're calling it. It's a, it's a, <laughs> be, 
it's it's a fad and it sucks because the only reason why I'm calling it a fad is because I don't like the name. I actually kind of like the color mixtures together. Like the yellow browns, the earth tones. The name? It's the name is driving me insane. Blorf? What's your name, James? It's a blorf. What's a, what is, Daffa, what's a blorf? Dude, tell me. We have to Google it. it. Like, it's it's something that comes out of either end when you're sick. You know what I'm saying? Blorf, blorf, that's it. What did Romeo and Juliet, what does Shakespeare say about a, a name? Like, what's in a name? Would a rose smell sweet if called by any other name? Yeah, well, this ain't don't it. Let, don't let the name get you. If you no, think the, it's the, the name is ruining it. The name is ruining it. If I'm going to rename it the Geode, and then we'll reconsider when we have them in hand. But as of right now, the silly ass name, the Blorf, has made this thing a fact. Okay, what we got next? All right. Dapper's wow. favorite, Ame Leandor, ML827, blah, 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 New Balance oh, collab. Oh, New Balance. What, what do you, you think about it, Dapper? Uh, it's unique. It's definitely different. Um, I don't know if I would rock it, but I know those New Balance heads were probably digging it. So I would have to say fad. Good answer. James. That shoe's so booty, dude. Like, it's just bad. I don't like it at all. I'm gonna, <sighs> fad for sure. It's a New Balance heads dream, I think. I don't even know. Do New Balance people even really like like this? This is a cool new balance. Like, you know, the colors are right. That was just white with some sprinkled in ugliness. The silhouette's kind of trash. I mean, I'm not sold on new balance as it is. So as far as I'm concerned, it's a fad, a bad one. It's all right. I mean, to me, it's kind of a cool casual shoe. For the most part, I think it's probably just a fad. I, I don't think we'll be wearing it in years. So this thing's classic. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan. Uh, from what I saw from Mama and Leandor last year, at the 997s, those were fire. Even the, yeah. uh, the 990 V5, that was a nice shoe. Those were cool. I really like those, but this one ain't it. All right, next we got the Air Jordan 4 Neon. This one makes me excited, man. When I saw the preview last year, I was super stoked. Uh, I like the Neon. I'm a fan of the 4. I felt on the bottom of the shoe, they could have maybe used a little of that speckle paint um, like they did on the concrete or like the neon speckle would have looked cool. I don't like the hill tag on this one. I think they could have done a much better job, but it's still a rad shoe. I was listening to the homies on the on the Sneak Disc podcast and I couldn't agree more. I hate myself that I like this shoe because there's so much that I don't like, but I still think it's so cool. Uh, Greg was right, you know what I mean? The, the shoe's fire, uh, but it's not. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just wish they would have changed the little details. I don't like the sole, maybe a little lighter gray, but I do kind of like it. You know what I mean? And Dab, you're right. absolutely right on the heel tab. The Nike Air is like yay big. You know what I'm saying? It's this tiny little thing on the back. And then it just looks flimsy, but the shoe looks like concrete. The shoe looks like you stepped in concrete. You had a neon shoe, you stepped in concrete, pulled it out, and the bottom of it's still just a little dirty. Right. You know what I mean? It's rad because I like it. It's dad because I shouldn't like it. It's a fad because I don't like it when they start mixing things. So it's all of the above and I like it. And, and I don't know what to say on that anymore. You're right, it's kind of cool. I just, there's some things about it that mean I'm never going to get it. I just can't get past. But if you put it in front of me and next to 10 other shoes, I'd pick it out as a cool shoe. I just. I mean, if you if you put it at, at 160, it's a cop, I'd buy it. 225 not, is not gonna happen. The laces, I just, they don't make sense. And you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, remember when they were making the, the Air Force One Jordan about. Fusions? Those yeah. things were hideous. They were doo-doo. And now, like, I, I hated all of them. I, and I, I was never a fan. So these are the same, they're the same boat for me. But I like this shoe because I am a fan of Silhouette. Like you said, that one, it's bad. Bad and bad. What you got next? What is it? The Dior. Dior high and low. What do you think, Dapper? I dig it. I honestly, uh, I like the, I love Dior, Dior everything. And it's the one, Dior the one, had a baby, it's rad. Check this out, Dapper though. Are you cool with the price point? I What's the price point at? 1800. Oh, why? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know. Because it's uh, Dior on it, obviously. It's got that magical Dior touch that came so, out. So before it was rad, now that it's too grand, do you still feel the same way? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I'm torn now. I does know, it, right? Does it smell like Dior Cologne? Oh. Does it smell like Dior Cologne, boy? 
if I can, if we can get them, we'll get them. If we can't, we'll talk about them anyway. But for right now, Rad. Rad, man. What about you, Dabo? Rad, for sure. Okay. All right. What's next? We got Air Max Day coming up. So we've, they've introduced something called the 2090 to us. And they've also given us a couple of liquid metal 90s. Yeah. Your thoughts on those? We're far removed now from the Sean Witherspoon Air Max Day craziness with the cool shoes. People were, you know, we were uh, voting on shoes. They, they dropped the OG, uh, OG ones. Uh, in the blue and the red. We had the Atmos return. We had the uh, the Masters drop. There were so many cool shoes happening and it made Air Max Day this really exciting time. Uh, yeah. This for the return or the 30th anniversary of an Air Max 90, which I think is a fire ass shoe. It's That's a big birthday too. Very, very lame. I'm not a fan. Like the Duck Camel, the shit, dope. You know what I'm saying? They, we're getting the, uh, you know, we're getting the liquid metal pack, but we've done, we've seen that before. It's already come and gone. We saw them do it on the Air Force One. We saw them do it with the uh, uh, Air Max One already. So, I mean, it seems really redundant. You know what I mean? Like, not for this day. This is the anniversary. Like, I thought we could do better. Uh, and then the, the 2090. Whatever. It's I'm, I'm not going to buy it. No. It's a, it's. It's a failed opportunity to be rad. So to me at this point, aside from just the duck camel, fire. Everything else is just a dad shoe. Same. I think it's all bad except for the duck camel. I'm not a fan of the 2090 at all. Maybe I have to see it in person. They've got one with a little bit of camo underneath a black mesh kind of, and that's kind of dope. But um, in general, it's just kind of like a 270 weird. Nine. I don't even know what it is, man. I'm not a big fan. Liquid metals are just not for me. That's all. That's all I can say. Dapper? Um, I don't know if it looked good on me, but I would say rad. I like it. I think it's cool. cool. I know a couple of guys that can pull it off. Alright. Mixed reviews on it. It's it's dad to me, except for the camo. So fire goes rad. So we'll see. Cool. Word up. All right. Last but not least, the Travis Scott 270. There's a friends and family pair with the uh, backward swoosh. There's a retail pair that's got two swooshes, little swooshes, nothing in the in the middle blocking of the shoe. It's kind of strange, but either way, before I get into it, what are you guys thinking? James? Look, oh man, I have every Travis shoe that's dropped, and this is probably the first one that I don't think I care to have. Uh, if it, if I do have the opportunity to get it, I probably will, um, just to keep the, the, like, the set together, if you will, but this shoe is dookie to me. It's not, I don't like it at all. There's nothing about it I think is cool. I'm not the biggest 270 fan in general, so this thing is just kind of a dad shoe to me. It's dad. Dappa. What do you think, Dappa? Um, I just got my first pair of 270s uh, last week. So I love 270s. I love everything that Travis is doing. Um, but I have, I have to say, being a fan of, a, of Travis, being a fan of a 270, I don't think it's heat, man. I really don't. Um, I wouldn't cop it. Uh, I don't know if I can say if I even like the colorway on it. So I'm going to have to say bad. I like the friends and family pair. I actually like it a lot. I think the backward swoosh on that thing makes a big difference. And it's cool because it carries his theme from the one set, the low and the high, into something that you wouldn't expect to see that on. So that's neat to me. I think that's cool. The friends and family pair is actually really rad to me. Uh, the retail pair, not so much, man. It's just kind of basic. I mean, you're just that's the one I look at, like, yeah, it's, you're looking at some basic, like, brown, gold, and like orange and brown things, and it's just right. Okay, I mean, what are we doing here? It doesn't look like anything Travis would normally make, it doesn't carry a lot of the same extreme elements, like a backwards swoosh or a wild colorway, like we saw with the four. Um, it doesn't just do anything for me, really. It's just kind of boring. No, I agree. I agree. I think the whole shoe itself is just kind of blah. It's a fad. Yeah. Word. It's a fad. All right. Matt, you are so lucky. I have to tell why? you. Why? Say why. Why, why fall? Because since we are not at the shop, I can't make you eat this flaming hot ghost reaper. Oh. Oh, but it's yeah. here. I have it. Would you get Yay, quarantine. No, it's coming. You're gonna you're gonna have to eat them. You lost the bet. 
I know you can't wait to eat it. So the next time we are in the shop, which I can't guarantee when that'll be just because of the current situation, that's when your asshole burns, my friend. Well, for now, can you guys hear that? No. My kids are beating the shit out of each other right now, I think. Are they? <laughs> yeah, well, I got lucky and I'm totally cool with it. You know, God works in mysterious ways and he didn't want me to need a chip right now, I suppose. I don't know. <laughs> He said, you are bigger things for you to worry about. Yes. Asshole is up next. But I'm a man of my word, and I will do it. I will do it. The next time we have a chance and we're together, or God forbid this thing lasts a lot longer and it's the middle of the summer, then James, you're going to mail me a chip and we'll do it right here. You want me to do it with you, Matt? Or are you good? You, are you, you want to do it with me? You would do that for me? I don't want to, but if you say, hey, Dapper, would you? I'd do it, yeah. My man. My man, you might, we might just all do it. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, you're a good. Cowboys fan too. You you weren't telling me to stop when this bet was going on. You were right there with me. I was. Basically your fault, Dapper. It's no. all my Guilty by association. Facts. I know, right? It'll be fun. Well, with that being said, thank you for watching for another episode of Off The Cut, home edition. Make sure to check out our past episodes on our YouTube, as well as check out our IG at OTC.show. And thanks for sticking around. Sorry we're not at our normal location, but we'll be back there soon. Until then, everybody take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Be cool. We'll see you next time. Stay safe. Yes. Stay blessed.